Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1044. And if you want to download this workbook, 1043 to 1046, click on the link below the video. Wow, we're going to have a doozy of a video here. We have a column of mixed data, and we want to extract a unique list and sort it. Now, luckily, we only want to extract a unique list and sort numbers. The problem is, well, uh, if we didn't have empty cells and text, we'd use the formula in Excel Magic Trick 1040. But we're going to run in trouble when we have empty cells and uh, text. Now, in the book, Control-Shift-Enter, uh, about uh, array formulas, the book I wrote, chapter 9, 19 talks about extracting unique, unique list formulas, including the wildest formula I've ever seen. I learned it from Dominique that will extract numbers and text, mix data, and sort it. But here, luckily, we just want to do the numbers. Now, in the last video, 1043, we saw a unique count for numbers formula. And we mentioned that frequency is the trick. You put the range of values in twice. Now, this will work, this frequency for counting. But we're going to have to do something really crazy when we're extracting a unique list. And it has to do with the empty cells and the DNQ. So I'm going to hit F9. And if you count these, there's 13 instances, and there's 14 cells. Now, Control-Z, frequency, and we'll look at this in just a second, frequency always spits out one more answer than there are bin categories. So there's 14 here, so you'd think that it spits out 15. But if you count them F9, it's actually 13. And the reason why is frequency just flat out skips that cell and that cell. And since for extracting formulas, you need relative positions, you can't skip this. We need a position there, position there, position there. We can't just use a straight frequency. Now, let's go down here and just look at a quick example for frequency. Here's our normal way. We hit, uh, we enter our formula. There's the data. There's the bins. The bins are upper limits. The first category always takes the first bin number and says uh, everything less than or equal to it. Then the next category takes whatever the previous bin was and says, are you greater than 5 and less than or equal to 10? And then it adds one more at the end. Now watch this. Right now there's no blank. So if I had to hit this, highlight this and hit F9 to highlight it, there's 4 exactly one more than there are bins. But watch this. If I move this, by the way, anytime you move data, the formulas update. right? So now it's highlighting the whole thing. If I highlight this and hit the F9, there's still only four. It just flat out skips over that. And if you were to do it one more time and put text, right? you can see that it's still only going to spit out four values, one more than there are um, bins here. Now, if we did that over here, I'm going to drag this down here and highlight it. F9, there's still only four. So in either case, the data or here, it just flat out ignores those empty cells and those text. Uh, I'm going to control Z, 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 and leave that little example there. All right, uh, I'm going to give you a preview here. Oh, you're kidding me, that huge thing there. This whole thing right there is just to dump uh, a unique list of items into the large so we can then get the large function to sort them. All right, let's build it from the inside out. I, I bet you if we build it from the inside out, it won't be so complicated. Now, we can't use flat out frequency because it's, it's going to skip that position. So we're going to use the match function. Now, what does the match function do? It tells you relative position of an item in a list. So it's similar. We're going to, for the lookup value, give it a bunch. And that's a function argument array operation right there because it's expecting a single value. We're giving it a bunch. But you give it broop, both of the ranges. 14 cells. And when we highlight and hit F9, it's going to tell us relative position. And it will give us duplicates. Whoops, Control-Z. That's approximate match. We need, because the values aren't sorted, exact match. Now if we highlight this and hit F9, it gives us the relative position, including it's treating the empty cell and the 0 as the same, 9 and 9. Now. 
we're going to take those relative positions and remove those two relative positions. How are we going to do that? We're going to use the if function and say is number. Hey, are, is anything in here a number, F4? If it is, that's an array function argument, array operation right there, then please give me those. We're going to leave the false out, so it puts a false in. I'm going to highlight this in F9. There we've eliminated those two positions. Now compare this to what we saw as a result of frequency, right? Here, if you count them, there's 15 positions. Now Control z well, F9, those are relative positions now. We want to now use the frequency. This is going to be our data input. And for the bins, we'll give it all the relative positions, Control-Z. So now we're going to put that inside a frequency. All right, there's the data. We come to the end, comma, and I need a formula element in the bins that gives me all the relative positions. I've already created it. This is like the 500th time I've used this in a formula. It's row minus row plus 1, that little thing right there. If you F9, it gives me all the relative positions from 1 to 14. Remember, those are the bins. We're going to now use those bins to count the actual data. So Control-Z, close parentheses. All right, ready? Highlight and F9. No way we get. The rel and if you count them, there's 15 exactly. We have 14 bits of data, and we've given it 14 bins, so it spits out 15 answers. And notice the 2 represents that 0. There's a 0 in that position right there. So now we have a pattern for relative positions. The zeros are false. The numbers are true. So get this. We already use frequency and if, but just think of that whole thing as just some zeros and numbers. So now we go if. We got a bunch of trues and falses. What are we finally after? We're after the numbers. So I'm going to highlight all those. F4, close parentheses. Now if I highlight this in F9, there we have 3, 4, 5, 0, and minus 1. That's a unique list of numbers. So Control Z. Now we simply put that into the large. Wow, that whole array right there, boom. And now comma, the K, we want a number incrementer as we copy down. That'll give us 1, 2, 3 as we copy down. So I close parentheses. This will require Control Shift and Enter. And I'm going to copy this down, and there is a unique list sorted of numbers given a column that had empty cells and text. Now we can simply amend this and go if our number incrementer, 1, 2, 3, 4, is greater than our unique count up here, then what do we want? Then for true, we want nothing, null text string. Please show nothing. Otherwise, run the whole formula. Again, for big. You wouldn't want to use if error here, because that's a big, huge array thing, unless it's a small data set. But easy enough to, to do it that way. So now we get uh, it changes to 66. Boom. If I change this to empty cell, well, it was a control ZZ. So there we go. That's quite a wild formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.